when will Falcon Heavy be scrubbed? We probably heard a thousand times that the SpaceX Starship will cannibalize the heavy version of the Falcon 9 once it is reliable. It's basically like natural selection, meaning the weaker will be eliminated. This fear has been rising more than ever for Falcon Heavy's lovers when Starship's progress is snowballing. The only way to save Falcon Heavy is to maintain its sustainable demand on the market. But facing the risk of the monopoly of a low-cost and extremely powerful rocket-like Starship, is that possible? Will there still be demand for SpaceX's Falcon Heavy in the future? Let's find the answer in today's Tech Map episode. Why was Falcon Heavy built? First of all, let's back to the past to answer the question. Why did SpaceX build a heavy lift variant of the Falcon 9 rocket? This heavy rocket was designed when Falcon 9 was very early in its evolution. The real reason for its born is that SpaceX wanted to make a reusable heavy lift rocket that was incredibly cheap and economical to fly. The cost of a reusable Falcon Heavy launch starts at around $100 million, one-fourth compared to the launch cost of Delta IV Heavy, which is the closest equivalent launch vehicle. The SpaceX rocket can carry 63, 8 tons of payload to LEO while that number for ULA's rocket is just 28.8 tons. At that time, low cost and large load capacity were considered to give Falcon Heavy great advantages in the market. The Falcon Heavy, when it entered service, was expected to create a new payload weight class. This capability can be exploited in multiple ways for existing payloads, such as launching more than one communication satellite in a single payload. The large payload fairing gives payload designers a lot of room for their payloads, which do not need to be as compact and can thus be wider and more than twice as heavy as a shuttle payload. The Falcon Heavy also also would open up a window to much larger, heavier payloads. Much concern was expressed after the last shuttle launch about the loss of the shuttle's lift capacity. The Falcon Heavy would be able to place more than two shuttle payloads in orbit in one launch at about one-fifteenth of the price of a single shuttle launch. Those things promised to help the U.S. gain back the world's market share of commercial satellite launches that they lost most to Europe and Russia decades ago. The contemporary large U.S. companies launch almost exclusively for the U.S. government this situation started to change with the realization that much lower launch costs are possible with high reliability. Both the commercial communications satellite makers and the government took a close look at the upstart company, realizing that soon they would be able to launch 10 tons for the price of one. However, the reality is slightly different. After a few successful launches in 2019, the Falcon Heavy would go on to sit dormant for over three years without a single mission. Even in 2023, when SpaceX promoted the rocket's flight cadence, the quantity just stopped stopped at five launches. As for the first quarter of 2024, according to statistics, zero Falcon Heavy launches occurred. In contrast, the number of Falcon 9 launches has reached hundreds of times. The reason is so well known. SpaceX fabricated a rocket named Falcon 9, which was more successful than expected. Its payload capacity and its cost per launch are favored by all commercial space companies. In addition, along with the non-stop commercialization, the number of commercial flights always overwhelms the government missions that Falcon Heavy aims for. Realizing the dramatically rising demand, SpaceX moved lots and lots of optimizations, especially on the Merlin engine, which was originally slated for Heavy to Falcon 9 over time. Beyond that, SpaceX, since the early days, has not thought of Merlin with its kerosene propellant as the best option for Mars colonization. Starship, with its methane-powered Raptor engine, has been their focus so far. Will Falcon Heavy disappear? The company also confirmed that one day they will put all their eggs in one basket with Starship, meaning Falcon Heavy will be eliminated first. However, with the volatile market situation, is it feasible? Honestly, in essence, Falcon Heavy has lots of launches. It just looks fewer because of the contrast with Falcon 9. Delta IV Heavy, Falcon Heavy's closest competitor, is scheduled to make its 16th and final launch on April 9. Over its lifetime, it never launched more than once in a calendar year. Its long existence existence in the market is due to its lucrative profit source, which comes from the government's contracts. The arrival of the rocket helped reverse the upward trend in NASA launch prices. In 2020, NASA awarded a $117 million launch contract to SpaceX for a Falcon Heavy launch of Psyche. One year later, we witnessed a $178 million contract being awarded by NASA for Falcon Heavy to launch Europa Clipper. Later the same year, there was a trade valued at $152 million between the space agency and SpaceX to launch a large new NOAA weather satellite. In addition to NASA, another sweet cake is the military's contracts. Keep in mind that the area where Falcon Heavy really shines is heavy satellites, meant for distant orbits, mostly includes military launches. 
In early 2023, Falcon Heavy was warmed up with the USS F-67 mission in mid-January. Here, a new center core in an expendable configuration was applied while the two reused side boosters landed at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Next, in May, they moved on to the Viasat-3 launch. The next three included Jupiter-3, Psyche, and Boeing's X-37B space plane. The reliability of Falcon Heavy in those missions helps SpaceX to retain rich customers, and this is a smart strategy. In business, you don't necessarily need to expand your customer circle as much as possible. Sometimes limiting your customer range to a small group and focusing on exploiting them is a smart strategy. And a small group of customers that Falcon Heavy maintains is the national agencies who feel free to pay more for priority. You know, launch prices for NASA and military payloads run higher than SpaceX's base commercial price. Government satellites often require special handling, resulting in extra fees in some terms like engineering insight. You unique cleanliness specifications, and in some cases, schedule priority over other commercial missions. More importantly, NASA and the Space Force will buy more Falcon Heavy launches from SpaceX. In the eyes of the military and the U.S. government's spy satellite agency, the Falcon Heavy alongside ULA's Vulcan is a partial replacement for the Delta IV Heavy rocket, which has conducted top-secret surveillance missions into religious orbit for more than two decades. Although Starship is operational, it will also take an additional long time to adapt to the market. For many decades, when someone wanted to build a satellite, they had to work weight and volume requirements before they even began manufacturing the satellite and book the appropriate lift vehicle for their payload years before it was scheduled to launch. Then SpaceX came along and upended the entire industry with their reusable boosters that lowered lead time from years down to months. After the inaugural launch of Falcon Heavy, the satellite industry has been slow to adjust to SpaceX timelines and has only recently started to finish production on large payloads that require a heavy lift vehicle. Even now, very few organizations are planning on the extensive mass and volume capacity of Starship because they as of yet can't guarantee it will be as viable as advertised, and sadly by the time they figure it out, it will take many more years to design and manufacture satellites and stations to the scale of Starship's capability. Currently, we are starting to see more use of Falcon Heavy because the projects designed for Starship are only now completing the manufacturing and testing phase. In conclusion, to answer the initial question, when will Falcon Heavy be scrubbed? I guess in the very distant future. And even Falcon Heavy will continue to exist much longer if demand persists despite the development of a modern launch vehicle like Starship. That just about wraps it up for today's episode. If you want to explore more aspects of the world's most powerful rockets and the world of rockets in general, here is a selection of deeper dive videos for you. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.